UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT. Problem solved. What we can do is really try and replicate what happens in the human kidney. Something revolutionary is being developed here. It's going to allow us to try to emulate human physiology. These crudely drawn diagrams map out the structure of human kidney vessels and the design of a three-dimensional chip-like device in which they hope to grow living human kidney cells for use in drug testing. Further movement of these molecules. The project is one of 17 around the country funded by the National Institutes of Health. Well, the current system for developing new therapies, in particular for kidney disease, are extremely limited. Part of that has to do with how complex an organ the kidney is. More than 20 million Americans, or more than 1 in 10 people, have decreased kidney function. And everyone with kidney disease is at risk for a variety of complications, including adverse reactions to various medications. The project is building upon technology already under development on the University of Washington campus. The most important component of that is a central chamber that contains a three-dimensional microenvironment. Uh, the chamber is filled with collagen, which is a tissue material, and in, within this environment we grow our tissue structure, tissue and organ structures. Newman's team at Nordis, a private company based in the UW's Fluke Hall, has already demonstrated that their chip-like device can work. Human blood vessel cells were injected into the device where they replicated and formed new blood vessels capable of having liquids pass through them. Doing the same thing with human kidney cells, however, is a much tougher challenge. The kidney is one of the most complicated organs in the human body, so it's an enormous challenge for us to try to use this chip and replicate on a chip what a normal human kidney would do when exposed to different drugs or different medications. In order to persuade these kidney cells to behave like in vivo means like in the human body, we need to provide the right conditions. Creating the right conditions starts with the design and building of the chips. I originally draw my designs in a, in a 3D CAD package and then um, I machine these designs into a, a hard machinable wax. And then I cast off of these to create molds for the parts for the devices. The smallest feature I machine is about the size of a human hair. We have to choose materials that are autoclavable, we have to choose materials that are biocompatible, and then getting all that to come together in a, in a manufacturing process that is relatively quick and inexpensive is, is one of the big challenges. The ability to one day mass produce the kidney chips, both affordably and to the highest quality, is critical to Nordis's future. Getting to that next level for Nordis is made easier by the support this small startup receives from the University of Washington's Center for Commercialization, or C4C. The Center for Commercialization creates commercialization projects around software startups, uh, medical diagnostics, advanced materials medical devices, any number of research technologies that come out of the University of Washington. It's early days, but the technology is proven and there is considerable optimism at Nordis. Well, if the project is successful, then for the very first time, we'll have a mechanism to rapidly test the effects of any new medication that's being developed on the human kidney. So this technology potentially leads to chips of the brain, chips of the liver, chips of the intestine. For instance, you can have an intestine chip taking up the drug, then you reroute that to the next chip, which is a liver chip where the drug gets metabolized and changed, and then measure the downstream effect, let's say, on a brain chip. For now, though, doctors Newman and Himmelfarb are still at the drawing board stage, and a great deal of work remains ahead. But there's every reason to hope that the kidney on a chip will soon be a reality. Thank <laughs> you.